I need to have my eyes on our guide so that I don't get lost. One day, Ahmed John and myself, we got lost and it was quite distressing. We didn't know where to go and we didn't know what to do. So, uh, not knowing our way about in, in city, uh, it's, uh, it's disturbing. <laughs> Since I came to Washington, I didn't wash my clothes because I didn't know how to use the ma washing machine. I tried clockwise, anti-clockwise, pushing. But I couldn't open the tap for the shower and the sink. You know, that, that, how do you put it, that? Uh, oh, there's a, um, uh, um, uh, what's the person? <laughs> <laughs> Learning how to listen to each other, especially because of the accents and English is not um, everybody's first language. So it's kind of fun. I'm, I'm actually enjoying it, having to learn how to listen to other people. It's complicated for me to communicate with other people, but I'm trying to, to do my best. This is not the first time for me to collaborate with other directors. Uh, but uh, this is the huge, uh, I mean, this is the biggest uh, number of uh, directors that uh, come together, uh, collaborate uh, ideas uh, together. Uh, you know what? We had an accident before you came in and this got unplugged. And I didn't think that Okay, let's forget it this time. Um, don't have to forget to be human. Him, this guy, or whatever. <laughs> Uh, basically, making a film about this woman, she's, she's been living here for the past 27 years, protesting against the wars and nuclear proliferation, proliferation that's a pretty big word, yeah. Why this? I think because it's really easy to do and it's a very interesting subject, really. And because, I mean, you're in the States, there's the White House, there's the war going on. If I get a month more, I probably would be doing something else entirely, but yeah, I mean, if you have three days, you do whatever research you can, you walk the city, you see what you can do, and this is what we ended up with. Well, we started out to do a story on Rolling Thunder, this um, organization that's fighting for the rights of uh, people who've gone missing in action or prisoners of war. It's fascinating, I've never seen something like that. So we, we started out to do a story on them and what they're about. Um, but the more we talk to them, I realize it's a much bigger story. So right now we're not quite sure what our story is going to be about. <laughs> We thought that uh, the best we could come up with was to make a film about the homeless in Washington, D.C. We, we thought that uh, uh, it would be a good idea uh, in, as a test practice, as well as, uh, as a, an issue that we could address for the time being. Our time is so limited. But I believe that whatever happens, we are determined and willing and, and committed to make the best use of this very short time so that we come up with a very beautiful thing. Hanging out with people from other, other nationalities, that's, that's been an experience. Daniel, Daniel takes three times the shower in the morning. When he wakes up, he takes a shower. He eats breakfast, he takes a shower. He waits for a while and then he takes a shower again before he dresses.